Hey guys, Steve Gutowski here. Uh, we just had some great news break uh, on Saturday. The federal court ruled that DC can no longer ban people from uh, concealed carrying a firearm within the city. Uh, it's now unconstitutional, or it was always unconstitutional, but a judge has finally made that uh, point known to city officials. So, And last night, the chief of police in DC issued an order to the police department that they can no longer enforce their ban on concealed carry. So technically right now, DC is in a, a state of law that most people call constitutional carry, which is essentially that you don't even need a permit to carry. You just, if you're a law-abiding citizen, you're not a felon, um, you can carry your firearm in the city of DC right now, which is uh, exactly what I'm gonna do. If you, this is my um, Smith & Wesson uh, M&P Shield. Uh, important point, I just spoke with a DC uh, police spokeswoman and they're not sure about the 10 round uh, limit on magazine size in DC. Uh, so I'm carrying uh, a, a single stack M&P Shield which only holds uh, 7 rounds which is still under the 10 round limit in case uh, they do decide to continue to enforce that. That wasn't in the ruling, so um, just a word of caution on that point. I'll be carrying uh, less than 10 rounds in my magazines, and anyone who's thinking of going into the city it, while it's still under constitutional carry should probably do the same, um, or uh, talk to a lawyer first. Also, I'm going to be um, carrying with me the actual uh, court ruling and the um, order from the chief of police. So just in case uh, anything should happen where uh, the police pull me over, maybe they're not aware of the, what's happened or the, the new order uh, or the ruling, because that could certainly happen. But um, I'm gonna, we're going to go take a quick stroll and, and see uh, what's up. It's, uh, I'm concealed carrying, so it's not going to be uh, a big thing, I'm not, people aren't going to know. That's the whole idea of concealed carry. It's just for my own personal protection. It's not uh, some sort of big show, but uh, as a celebration of, of finally being able to exercise my, my God-given natural right to defend myself and use the most effective means possible, I'm, I'm going to go ahead and, and do it. I haven't heard of anyone actually trying to do it so far, so I may be the first person, uh, at least among the first. and. Probably the, one of the few who will be able to do it uh, in this period of time where it's under constitutional carry because DC is almost certainly going to uh, enact some sort of, of concealed carry legislation just like Illinois did uh, and California did once, once they were told that their laws were unconstitutional. So this period of time is very special. It likely won't last for long, but I'm going to enjoy it while it's here. So come along with me. driving along the George Washington Parkway uh, in what is actually technically the District of Columbia, right here outside of Reagan Airport. Um, technically this stretch of road is the District of Columbia, and so right now I'm concealed carrying legally within the District of Columbia. Now this, is, this has always been an issue for people like me, uh, Virginia concealed carry licensees, because it's very uh, unclear that this is actually the District of Columbia, because we're, we're in, we're on the Virginia side of the, the Potomac River, but technically, right around the airport is DC. So, it's very, it, it used to be, until this new ruling, uh, to, until the new police orders, very dangerous for someone uh, who lives in Northern Virginia, works in Northern Virginia, and carries a firearm because you could easily and completely accidentally cross an imaginary line that is not uh, labeled anywhere. There's no sign that says you're going into D.C. and you could be subject to five years in prison or a $5,000 fine. But that all changed on Saturday and so here I am carrying concealed in the District of Columbia. So we're going to go up to the National Mall and walk around a little bit, celebrate the uh, 
freedoms that we now enjoy as American citizens in our own capital, in the capital of the freest country in the world, you can actually exercise your Second Amendment rights now. So we're going to, I'm going to go ahead and do that. Here we go. Taking the plunge. There's the Washington Monument. There's the Jefferson. Uh, the Lincoln Memorial's around here. I don't think you can see it from the bridge, but we're crossing the 395 bridge right now. Headed right into the heart of the District of Columbia. Really free territory. <laughs> Going into the city, carrying my, my Smith & Wesson. Doing so legally for the first time. It's pretty incredible. Now the government buildings are still off limits as far as uh, the DC police spokeswoman has told me, so we're not going to be going into any government buildings. But um, the sidewalks, generally everything else in the city is currently uh, under constitutional carry, so we're going to do a little uh, do a little walk around to take a little tour of the capital. All the all our pretty sights to see. Um, this is actually the Holocaust Museum right here, um, and uh, actually, that someone a crazy anti-Semite a few years back took a gun in there and shot several people, all while guns well while, while it was illegal to carry a gun in D.C. So uh, it didn't prevent that. It hasn't prevented. <laughs> the massive amount of shootings that go on here on a regular basis. Um, all it's prevented is uh, law-abiding citizens like myself from defending themselves when they're inside the city limits. It's, it's actually very ironic because um, I carry a gun, I carry with me everywhere I go um, as a precautionary measure, just like having a, uh, a fire extinguisher. And the most dangerous place that I have to go on a, on a regular basis, several times a week usually, I'm not allowed to, to bring my gun to defend myself uh, to, until now, until right now. So we're gonna, we'll park up here and take a little stroll around uh, uh, the National Mall. See, see the sights. There's the Washington Monument over here, newly restored, just like our freedoms. <laughs> so, we're gonna enjoy it. We're gonna park, hopefully, park somewhere around here. So, it's, it's a greater struggle than our getting our rights restored. He's trying to find a freaking parking spot on the mall. Tourists are out today. Shirtless old men running are right here as well. It's a staple. DC staple. Alright, well, it's harder to find parking in DC than it is to carry. So, here we are at the mall. Uh, where, where, where are we at? There's the archives over there. Point in that direction of the camera. <laughs> At the mall, we'll take a little stroll, I guess. I've got the uh, court case and the police order with me, just in case. I don't expect to have any problems, but you never know. Over here, we got the uh, Washington Monument. 
Um, the museums are all in the National Mall. It's a beautiful place if you've never been. You should come down now, uh, as of right now, you can bring your uh, concealed carry with you. Lake uh, Memorial. Ensure that you're able to keep yourself safe in what is actually one of the most dangerous cities on the planet. Not too dangerous right now. Very nice day. We're showing up for some sort of event. But, uh, here we are, just uh, exercising my rights. Finally. Hi, DC. It's been fun visiting you with my friend Mr. Smith and Mr. Wesson. Headed back to Virginia now. Hopefully we'll make this a regular thing and I can actually protect myself from the most dangerous place that I visit on a regular basis. So, I'll see you guys another time. <laughs>